Well, hello. Today we're going to be taking a look at this boomer meme I found on Facebook, Eating in the 50s, and we're going to be grading it for its historical accuracy. So out of these 24 points, how many of them are true to UK food in the 1950s? Number one, pasta was not eaten. That is incorrect. Here's a recipe recommending you pet out your turkey or chicken Christmas leftovers with spaghetti. Number two, curry was a surname. Uh, this one's technically true, I guess, but the implication that 1950s people didn't know what curry is, is wrong. The word curry to describe Indian style cooking goes back to the 18th century in English. And here is curry powder that you could buy at Sainsbury's in the 1950s. Point three, a takeaway was a mathematical problem. Um, I don't get this one at all. Like, what do you think a fish and chip shop is? Uh, but the actual word takeaway to describe that kind of food does only exist from the 1960s onwards, so I will give you a point. Number four, no one knew what pizza was. Um, this is incorrect. We had loads of American GIs come over in the Second World War and they brought with them their love of stuff like pizza. Here's a recipe for pizza from the 1950s. Here's another one. Number five, crisps were plain. The only choice we had was whether to put salt on them or not. This is incorrect. You could buy cheese or onion flavoured crisps and fishers also did OXO flavoured crisps. And I regret to inform you, celery flavoured crisps. Celery flavoured crisps are good. These piquantly flavoured crisps are certain to become popular with all ages. <laughs> we can't stop now, okay? <laughs> we gotta keep going. Point six, rice is only eaten as milk pudding. This is incorrect. Rice is often recommended to eat alongside those curried dishes that you don't think exists. Uh, here's a recipe for curried rabbit and here's one for curried eggs. And by the way, if you think these recipes are weird, uh, that's because rationing was still on back then. Point seven, a Big Mac was what we wore when it was raining. Uh, this is incorrect. Of course, everyone from the 50s would know that Big Mac was Coventry City's centre forward. But in terms of the burger, that's from the 60s, so I will give you the point. Number eight, brown bread was something only poor people ate. Okay, this is gonna take a bit more research. Okay, so the most common bread advert I could find from the 1950s appears to be this brand called Procea and their white and brown seems to be the same price. Um, I also found that in 1951 there was a bread scare where people thought that chemicals were getting dumped into white bread so they started buying a lot more brown. Uh, but most interestingly I found this article from the Belfast Evening News which is about a book that talks about Irish architecture. And the author's pretty dismissive of architecture in Ireland. Uh, he says, you know, once it might have been beautiful, but these days comparing Irish architecture to English is like comparing brown bread to white. And the author of this review like claps back at him and he's like, oh, what, you mean it's more wholesome and nourishing? So there were definitely people who were like snobs about brown bread in the 50s, but I don't think that supports the argument that brown bread is something just for poor people. Number nine, oil was for lubricating, fat was for cooking. This one's incorrect, and luckily I don't have to do any extra research on this because there's a crisp advert. Finest ingredients, expertly cooked potatoes, edible oil, and salt. Number 10, tea was made in a teapot using tea leaves and never green. Uh, this one's incorrect. Tea bags actually come from the 1950s. Tetley's was doing them and they were a new thing at the time, but they were definitely around. Um, green tea does seem to be harder to get. Um, obviously it's hard to get stuff from China in the aftermath of World War II, uh, but people have heard of it. Number 11, sugar enjoyed a good press. Oh, not press as in like literally pressing it. They mean like people didn't think it was bad. Um, this one's incorrect. Dentists knew it was bad for kids' teeth back in the 1950s and a lot of diet advice recommends cutting out sugar. Something that is different about the 1950s compared to today is that these days you probably couldn't give orphans a load of extra sugar to see if their teeth rot faster. So you're not getting a point for this one, sorry. Number 12, fish didn't have fingers. Um, fish fingers did exist. Here's an advert for bird's eyes fish fingers from 1957. Number 13, eating raw fish was considered poverty, not sushi. I'm starting to get like a really xenophobic vibe off this meme. It's like, ugh, pasta, rice, curry, Big Macs. Like almost all of these are foreign foods, right? 
Uh, so yes, sushi's not really available in the UK in the 1950s. Um, as far as I can tell, it's kind of an 80s thing for the UK. Uh, we don't get a Japanese restaurant in London until the 1970s and astonishingly in the aftermath of World War II, Japanese food's not super popular. <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to take issue with this point anyway because of the implication that like poor people could afford to buy fish but not cook it. No points. No points. 14. None of us had ever heard of yoghurt. This one's incorrect. Here's an advert for yoghurt from 1951. Ample supplies are now available of this health-giving food. 15. Healthy food consisted of anything edible. Uh, so I guess all I need to do to disprove this one is find any source claiming that an edible food is unhealthy. <laughs> this is gonna be easy! This is the 1956 Lancashire Evening Post saying that if you want a healthy diet you should cut out sandwiches, buns, extra cups of this or that between meals and sweets. 16. People who didn't peel potatoes were regarded as lazy. I can't find any source calling people who didn't peel potatoes lazy. People were dealing with the aftermath of a world war. I think they had bigger things to think about. No, what I think this is, is a dig at modern people who leave the skins on, calling them lazy. Like, as well as the xenophobia, I think there's also a real hostility in this meme to people who try and eat healthily. Um, you can see it in the hatred for brown bread and potato peelings, apparently. I guess potato peelings are now part of the culture war. 17. Indian restaurants were only found in India. This is definitely not true. Here's an Indian restaurant in London in 1951. Oh, look, they serve delicious curries. Here's a Nottingham Indian restaurant in 1953. Oh, curry's their specialty. Also, English dish is served. <laughs> Please, English people! <laughs> we promise it won't be spicy! 18. Cooking outside was called camping. God, this is really <laughs> condescending. Um, it's also, of course, incorrect. Like, people knew what barbecues were. I mean, at this point, I believe the meme writer's not heard of barbecues. They don't seem to have heard of anything. Uh, this article from 1959 says, Everyone is, of course, familiar with the summer barbecue. 19. Seaweed was not a recognised food. This is incorrect. I actually was surprised at this one. But here's an article from the Lincolnshire Free Press from 1959 explaining that seaweed is good for sausage skins, glacé cherries? and table jellies. And you can make from it a fine cellophane paper which can be eaten. 20. Kebab was not even a word, never mind a food. Uh, this is incorrect. Here's an article about kebabs from 1956 and it doesn't even feel the need to explain what a kebab is. You know Britain was in Egypt, right? You've heard of the Suez Canal, right? Maybe you haven't. You haven't heard of barbecues. <laughs> 21. Prunes were medicinal. Uh, prunes weren't only medicinal. Uh, there are adverts indicating that you're supposed to eat them for fun, like here, uh, and you can have them in cakes. Uh, here's a list of cake ingredients and it includes prunes. 22. Surprisingly, muesli was available. It was called cattle feed. This is another dig at healthy eating people, right? Like, no, no, you eat like a cow. It's like that jab at vegetarians when people used to call salad rabbit food. Do you remember that? Anyway, yeah, I can't actually find a lot of evidence of muesli being sold, so that checks out. And I guess they do feed oats to cows, but they don't call it muesli, and nobody was, like, going in there, digging out the cow trough and pouring it in their cereal bowls, so I'm not going to give you a point for this one. 23. Water came out of the tap. If someone had suggested bottling it and charging more than petrol for it, they would have become a laughingstock. Um, actually, this one kind of is true. Uh, you couldn't really buy bottled water in the 50s. And uh, doing the research for this, I found out that mineral water back then meant, like, fizzy drinks. So Iron Brew marketed themselves as mineral water. Yeah, I'm on a bit of a health kick at the moment. I'm only drinking mineral water. And the things we never, ever had on our table in the 50s and 60s... <laughs> We just expanded the timeline by 10 years for the last point. <laughs> Elbows and phones. Okay, so I guess here's a compilation of 1950s people putting their elbows on the table. <laughs> that 
you were told not to put your elbows on the table, but that doesn't mean you never ever had your elbows on the table. Otherwise you wouldn't need to be told. Come on, a little bit of self-awareness. Out of a grand total of 24 points, you scored three. You were alive back then, right? So, okay, I guess I should say some of these are true for some boomers. Like I've met people who didn't have a pizza until the 1980s, especially if you live out in a rural area. Like all you've got is the grocer, the butcher and the milkman. You've got to make dinner out of what you can get from them. And that's probably not going to include kebabs or rice. Um, but at the same time, I think this is a really useful lesson in not trusting people's childhood memories for information about a period. Like, yeah, if you're seven, I'll believe you've not heard of a curry. But that doesn't mean nobody else had. I think the last one about the elbows on the table is particularly enlightening. Like, I would believe that boomers who grew up in the 50s have a lot of memories of being told not to put their elbows on the table but they wouldn't have been told that if they hadn't put their elbows on the table. And um, like you see a lot of boomer memes that are like, oh, well, we had respect for our elders because otherwise we'd get hit. And I'm like, your elders didn't think you were respecting them because that's why they hit you. And I will say not all boomer memes are like this. Uh, I think there are some that are just like reminiscing about their childhood and that's fine uh, and totally normal and healthy. Um, but yeah, where it gets into like weird xenophobic stuff or like digging at modern children, um, there I think it starts to become unhealthy and honestly extremely cringe. Anyway, be kind to each other, don't hit your kids, and foreign food is good actually. Good night!